folks, welcome back. My name is Rudy. I wish I was that cool. I feel like this is all of us. And I feel like that's that's Wizards of the Coast. And this is Hasbro. Ah! <laughs> folks, my name is Rudy. You're watching Alpha. Today, my patron Ryan M's is Rudy. Dominari Remastered. I said, okay. Okay. So, folks, sit back, relax. And uh, I've only got a couple more of these little Dom or Master uh, collector box opening videos. And then we got some other things in the queue. Changing it up here and all kinds of different things. And uh, we're going to see how it goes. So, um, people are really happy with this product. I mean, there's not really any way to sugarcoat it. I can hype it, yell all you want, or a Boreo Yar. Windborn. And the old vintage Wrath of God hunting ground. The amount of power in these things is absolutely out of control. I guess we'll do some mythic tracking. I am kind of curious today. The amount of power in these things is just outrageous. It's in... Golly, look at that terminal. It, it's insane. Completely insane. So, where are we at? So, market right now is very, very stable. At around, I'd say, let's just call it 290 as of the filming of this video. And, ooh, look at that Sylvan. Beautiful Sylvan. Oh, in tune with the vintage Royal Assassin. Chain flipping lightning, man. Holy smokes, man. What a pack. And the vintage island. It's so weird how they only did vintage on the island. That's maybe Magic 30 stole the rest. Hey, crop rotation. That's a pretty big deal. All right, folks. Anyways, so we're sitting about 290 plus tax on the open market with a pretty solid flow through. And, you know, I mean by flow through, I mean, you know, pretty solid amount of product being sold every day. So, oh, that's so nice looking. I do expect, ooh, look at that Urza's Mythic number three and a gamble. And another Sylvan! <laughs> and beautiful faith there. Wild growth in the Vengeance, Enchantress in the Plains. Um, it is, it does appear to be official that I have been messaged also in the last 24 hours that there is going to be a small restock, final wave of this product. And, uh, God, I know Jester's Cap's not the most expensive sought after thing, but man, that's a gorgeous card. Vintage Mystical. And, of course, Gorgeous Street Wraith. And card, I don't even know what it is. Spirit Link, man. Um, so there is going to be a small second wave of the collector boxes. Which is kind of... Uh, I mean, I guess I'm happy about that. But I just bought more to sell to the patrons, literally, like, three, four days ago. And I had to buy from a different source on the West Coast and pay a little bit more. So, ooh, Vintage Birds. Very nice. So, kind of a little, little bittersweet there. I'm kind of happy that we're getting more... But I was like, dang, I wish I kind of waited there. But, hey, it is what it is. Can't predict the future. Many times we don't get any restock. Many times a ton come. But as of what I'm gathering right now, um, the restock is low to medium size. Because I asked if I could even get the same amount I had the first time, and they laughed at me. And it, oh, Sarah, Sarah Avatar, that was an expensive card a long time ago. But it does feel like that the quantity on the second wave is going to be quite low. Now, it doesn't mean that we can't have a short-term, you know, 5 10% price swing. But... It's going to be very difficult for these things to completely collapse in value because of how much value is in these. Wow, look at that exploration. Siege Gang coming in. Zur and a Gamble. Wow. And Heir to Geld in the Wild Doggies. Man. But this is, I don't, I don't like, even Chainers say, like, wow, it's the common uncommon. Oh, we got pacifism. That's, whoa. That dude's like walking in the snow with nothing. It's crazy. That's the thing is, you know, this is one of those products where even if the price actually did drop a lot, the amount of people... Because there's a point on a product like this where if the... Let's, let's pretend for a moment. Arcade's... God, look at Elder Dry. Look at that maze. Ah! Oh, look at that shade. Decimate and the Fling Tongue Kavu with a sphere. Big deal in our OG Dominaria. Terror. Because let's, let's pretend for a moment that the prices of this thing actually did, like, tank from, like, 300 to 200 Let's just pretend. Okay? Below wholesale, everything. Like, 200 bucks a box. Cheaper than what I can buy them for. Any store in the country can pay. Let's pretend for a moment. At that point, it would be in everybody's best interest to literally just buy as many as you can and do nothing but just open the boxes and sell singles. On a large scale, when you remove the variants, I'm pretty sure these things would... Oh, my God. These, these cards would net more than $200 for a 12-pack. Like, that's how I'm looking at it. That is a mythic. I don't I think I've skipped a mythic, whatever, but I'm not paying attention now. I'm talking. Um, so that's kind of my attitude towards this. It's very difficult for a product that has so many cards of value and shape to completely collapse. But we've seen it happen. Dominar United 
even with Liliana in it and OG Hidden Legends cards. And Gauntlet of Power, very cool. Hey, there's his blueprints over there. Every time, every time, I still think that's a, you know what I'm thinking, right? Come on, fetch land, anybody, enemy. I, every time I see the edge of that card for half a second, but then I realize there's no enemy fetches in this product. Anyways, so that's kind of my my perspective right now. Obviously, I'm gonna be happy to actually keep some a uh, good chunk of this position with due to the fact that there is gonna be a second wave. Look at that position, dang. Man, and look at that. Look at this. This is my point. If this thing tanked in value and it got down to $15, $20 a pack, you could open pack. I mean, look at this. You could open packs and get insane value and the arbitrage opportunity to make insane money is there, which is why I don't think that's going to happen, period. So that's the end of box one. Three, six, that's nine mythics. And I may have missed a couple mythics because I was rambling there and I wasn't really paying attention. Um, oh, I was just want to do a quick scan real quick to see. Maybe I didn't miss any mythics. I thought I maybe missed one or two. But anyway, so far, Ryan, oh, that seemed like a pretty solid first box. No force of will, though. But man, double Sylvan, you know, physicians, tutors. Um, was it two tutors or three? Two? And that's pretty tough to beat, you know? So that's kind of my attitude towards it. I'm, I'm not super surprised that Wizards is releasing a second and final wave. But I am kind of surprised that, you know, the quant the quantity is... I thought like I thought if they were going to do a second wave... God, that looks so nice. I thought the quantity would be higher. Although I was skeptical there was ever going to be any second wave. Soul Kanar, very iconic. Kroll Space, iconic from Ursus. Chainers. And Mystic and Island. So I've been, I've been very skeptical because, I mean, you know, when we had Modern Horizons 2 collectors... When we had, God, late, Modern Horizons 2, what, Commander Legends 1... Collector, same thing. There was no real second wave. It just didn't happen. Love that art and that gemstone. I hate that stupid card. And Reclamation, nah, it's okay. Cavu, Warrens, Frantic Search. There's a nice throwback. So it's very, very unpredictable on these specialty sets. It's very difficult to know when, after you get an initial thing in collector boxes, if there's going to be any. And even now, I don't know. Worldly Tutor, gorgeous. That's that most, uh, Richard Kane, yeah. I mean, it's very difficult to predict what Wizards is going to do on things, man. They're so unpredictable and volatile nowadays. That's just kind of how they are. And I guess they're doing that on purpose. So we're all kept in, I don't know, a guessing game of what they're going to do. Because their track record of collector boxes and specialty products. Ooh. Oh, look at this pack. Look at that gemstone. Look at that maze. Glory, Overmaster, Warrens, Street Wraith, Keld, and Plains. So like I said, you know, we have about a 50-50 chance of even getting any restock. So that's where we're at, folks. So those are considering, or if you missed this or anything, um, pretty much the next 30 days is probably going to be your last major chance um, because then now that when everybody knows there's no more coming, which apparently this is the one and only tiny restock that I'm being told. And again, I was like, how many boxes can I get? And like one distributor is like, you can have 12. I was like, that's great. Another one's like, we'll get you 60. So we're not talking thousands of boxes like the original release, by the way, folks. So I don't even know what kind of major impact that's even going to have on the product's pricing after this flushes through in you know, a couple weeks. And immediately, you're always going to get a couple stores that are going to undercut and just get rid of it as quick as possible. Got some, what, third, fourth Arborea? Ar Arborea? Vortex, hey, got that. Dude, did I ever talk to you guys about the story with Grim Lava Mancer in Core 2012? When I did a mass box, this was such, this was like the hottest rare in Core 2012 next to, I think, like Grand Abolisher or something. Dude, I was selling these things for like five to seven dollars a card, like insanely nonstop. It was an unbelievable time in Magic. And you know, I still hope in the back of my mind, maybe one day we do return to an era without 48,000 variants and, you know, the, the attitude and everything changes back. Oh, God, look at that. Like, the cards in this set. Look at that Tudor, man. Jeez, that is ridiculous, man. Triskelion, can't believe this OG old school card is in here. Impulse with that insane... I swear this is the first set they've done in ages. It has the original foil feel. It's really wild how that is. All right, anyways, that's where we're at. That's what I think, you know. And I still think with how much, how many mistakes and goofy things... God, look at that mystical Tudor, the cemetery, symbiosis, and tomb... Oh, icy, wild growth, icy, and a blink. Dang. Hey, Druid, that was a big uncommon back in the day. 
back in the day, as in what, a week ago? In magic time? How long is a week in magic time? A year? That time flies, am I right? But anyways, ooh, Denizen, beautiful. Hey, good old, you know? God, look at this pack. Nut Collector with a Vintage Dark Deaths, with a Soul Kinar, a Quicksilver, a Juggernaut, Tiana, and that's it. That's so crazy to have a pack where you can have a Dark Deaths in Retro Frame and a Nut Collector, and it's just like, yeah, Enlightened Tutor, Legacy Weapon, Foil Mythic. It like, God, if this was five years ago, like I'd be yelling running around the room. I can't explain to you all how crazy this some of these things would be five years ago. Look at this. Double Triskelion. Double Triskelion. Like, do you realize how big of a crawl space from Urza's? That's so insane. Console and Drake and Island. So that's it. Ryan, thanks for being a very kind patron. Once again, it, all the cards are headed your way. There, there's really not a lot to say. There's no, I mean, I can hype man, pump and dump your face, whatever you want, but... This is really a product that just speaks for itself and does its own thing. There's really nothing to talk about. I mean, it doesn't really matter in the next couple weeks if they do this small second drop. But most importantly, now that we know that's the final wave, and if it really is as small and distributors aren't lying to us and they're really holding back thousands and manipulating, if they're really not doing that, and it really is a little bit going... Dude... This is an amazing, this is like, this is like double masters level product, but cheaper. And I'm telling you, you know, if it really is like that, and like I said, if they're not lying on the supply, it's a great product, man. It's a great product in a bad time, in a turbulent economy, a lot of anger towards Hasbro and Wizards. Good product in a bad time. That's a great way to sum it up. Hope you all learned something today. As always, thanks for the, uh, the views, the support. It's been the uh, honor and privilege for me to entertain. Hope you guys have a beautiful day.